What's up you guys? We are in Brooklyn, New York. We are headed to the Brooklyn Bridge. I am spending time with my babe, Valentine's Day. So we're excited to just explore and see what it's all about. Oh my gosh y'all we made it to the brooklyn bray bridge behind that is some kind of skyline and look at this it's so big but it's right there y'all damn so exciting so we made it to the brooklyn bay bridge probably gonna try to find somewhere to eat take lots of pictures of course super exciting super pretty and there's like ships and stuff everywhere so gorgeous so. About to leave the Brooklyn Bridge and head over to Chinatown to get us some delicious dumplings and soup because it is 34 degrees out here. It's a little nippy, but not as cold as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm excited about that. Got my gloves. We good. <laughs> I just had some pork soup and dumplings from Joe's Shanghai. Like all the celebrities and stuff eat there too, apparently. And it was like super, super delicious. So now we are headed off to Times Square.
Good morning, y'all. It's day two in New York and it is snowing today. Um, we're gonna go try this place called The Bagel Store. It's here in Brooklyn and they are known for the, um, the rainbow bagels. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm gonna stop vlogging here so I can focus and not like slip and bust my butt, you know what I mean? Cause it's kinda crazy. y'all just an update it's the evening time now we started off during the day but things are starting to get a little crazy we were headed to the bagel store that's the place with all the rainbow bagels and stuff like that and the funfetti cream cheese something like that and um i wasn't navigating so we started off in the wrong direction then when we were turning around there was another train that was actually stuck on the rail so they ended up shutting down the other trains which means the train that we were by would only go basically in a circle, go up one and down one, up one, down one, and it wouldn't go through. So we had to leave that subway station, and then we were trying to get an Uber, but we ended up finding all these other bagel shops. I didn't film that, because um, it was just a regular bagel, and at that point, I was genuinely hungry. Um, the morning was starting off kind of interesting. It also snowed pretty heavy this morning, which was crazy. Your girl was quickly reminded that she is from the South. Like, when I tell you, I've never seen buses with chains on the top before I have never seen a thick slushy ice before like I've seen snow before a little bit in Atlanta but nothing like this this was crazy today so I was like you know what let's just call it um, and we went came back in and basically the show that we wanted to see doesn't start until the evening time anyway so I was like how are we gonna stay out in the snow all day until the snow until the show starts so it's a couple hours pretty much before the show starts which is better for us anyway so we'll go get into a couple more things, head to the show, and then call it a night. And honestly, you guys, after that is back to Atlanta. Quick trip, but I just want to celebrate Valentine's Day with my babes. So, yeah, let's go see pretty much part two of day two in New York. So, round two, right? I have on a sweater, a hoodie, this huge trench coat, a beanie, earmuffs. Make sure I get it right this time. Plus, a scarf in my backpack. As of right now, I feel like I'm burning up, like I'm back at home in Houston in July. So, we gotta get moving. We gotta get moving fast, because it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Let's go. Okay, y'all, it y'all well i ended up coming back it was super late super slippery and in a nutshell we went to the comedy show it was okay um if you guys do decide to go to the lol comedy club that's in times square i recommend that you guys get your tickets off a of groupon for nine dollars um because they also will hustle you pretty much on the street like one guy tried to sell us tickets twenty dollars a piece then he went down to fifteen then he said my final offer is ten we found it on Groupon for nine 
So just keep that in mind. If somebody's trying to hustle you, check Groupon or check somebody, Viator, whoever, just to see if you actually are getting the best rate. And also keep in mind that if you do decide to go to the LOL Comedy Club, that they do have a two drink minimum per person. And those drinks are priced at about eight per drink. Um, so just keep that in mind. That was a hidden charge that we didn't know about. As far as the comedy show itself, well, basically nobody really left. Um, but in the comedian's defense, well, they weren't my kind of funny, but it was some things I could like giggle at, you know? But the entire audience was from a different country. Nobody in there was from the United States except me and my boyfriend. So some of the things that they were talking about, honestly, I think just went straight over their heads and they just did not know what was happening. So that's what happened pretty much last night. Came back, um, stopped at the good old McDonald's. I'll talk to you guys about this keto diet here in the next couple of videos because it has not, and I mean not, been going well. But this is going to bring me to the end of the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share this with a friend. And I will see you guys next time. Still shooting for every Wednesday, every Friday. Things happen, but I'm working on it. Check with me every Wednesday, every Friday. All right? All right. Bye, y'all.